Hello everyone! You know it's going to be a good Kelsey Simone video when I'm in a robe. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY hair care video. I'm basing these products off of more high-end products that I like to use and most of them are based with natural ingredients anyways so I figured I can just make them myself. So I already did this video with skincare products where same concept, I remade my favorite luxury, high-end-ish skincare products and just made them myself DIY, so I thought, let's do the same with some hair care products. So I have three of my favorite hair care products, technically four, that I'm going to be making. So the first product I'm gonna start off by making is a hair mask, and hair masks are very essential for this recently bleached baldy. So typically the hair mask that I like to use is this one right here. It is the Jizu Honey Infused Hair Mask. I really, really highly recommend it, but if it's not in your budget, that's all right, we can make this. So obviously our first main ingredient being honey. I forgot the honey. Okay, I forgot the honey. All right, I've got the honey. I can't believe I forgot the most important ingredient. I also got some iced tea. So I have some honey here. I have it in this little dish because the bottle was ugly. You know I'm about that aesthetic, ladies. I'm not going by any measurements. You can make this two different ways. You can just make enough, like what I'm doing right now, enough to just have like one hair mask. Or if you have a container that closes, you could make a whole big batch of this and store it in your fridge and like use it throughout time. I'm just gonna make enough for one mask. So for the base of the mask to go with the honey, I wanted to try to represent this hair mask as similar as possible like even in the texture so i have here plain greek yogurt you can use regular plain yogurt if you want but greek yogurt has a much thicker consistency and it's just going to work a lot better i actually also read a couple of forums about that greek yogurt is actually good for helping grow your hair which i actually never knew that at all so i was very excited to do this because i'm trying to grow my hair a little bit longer anyways so it was a big plus. Like I said, we're trying to really deeply enrich and hydrate our hair, so I'm going to be using argan oil. They were all out of pure argan oil, but that is exactly what I was going to add into it. Instead, I have this, which was the next closest thing they had, which is a mix of argan oil, jojoba oil, and another oil. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting this one. Just use plain argan oil, or if you already have your own hair oil that you like to use in your hair, just add that into this. This is exactly what I would do. But if you don't have hair oil, just go get some argan oil. I'm gonna take a bowl. There's a lemon in it. So we've got Wallaby, Greek, <laughs> Aussie Greek yogurt. Now I'm gonna do three. I did three like really generous spoons of the yogurt and then I'm gonna do like almost this whole thing of honey, almost. I'm gonna use that much. <laughs> There's what that looks like. I'm gonna mix that together. So this actually ended up making way more than I needed, so you definitely don't have to use as much as I just did. So I'm going to apply the mask to my hair. I'm probably only going to use about half of what I made. This is kind of not the cleanest way to do it, but I'm just going to apply it with my hands. I mean, I'm not really sure what other way you would do it. I always apply my hair mask with my hands, but I'm applying it to my dry hair um, just because normally when I use hair masks, they always instruct that you apply it to dry hair. So I'm going to do the same thing. So. I'm dropping it everywhere. I'm gonna put this halfway up my hair. I'm not gonna bring it to my roots. I'm gonna tie it up in a bun. I'm gonna leave that for 15 minutes. That's typically what I do with all my hair masks, like 15 to 20 minutes, and then I will rinse it out in the shower and just shampoo and condition like regular. Next hair product while we're letting this sit. I'm mixing two of my favorite hair products together. They have very similar recipes. I just kind of figured I use them at the same exact time anyways, like I typically use them together, so I figured I'm making it myself, why not just make it a two-in-one product? So I have these two products here that are from Way Hair Care. I have both their Wave Spray and I have their Ombre Sun Bleaching Spray. I thought I would mix both products into one, so I'm going to be making half sun bleaching spray but it's a wave spray if you have dark hair you don't have to worry about it it just won't affect you if you have blonde hair dirty blonde hair this might honestly even work on like redheads like strawberry blondes and stuff like that so to make a sea salt spray really pretty, pretty explanatory we're gonna need some sea salt so the first ingredient we're gonna have the base of this be water and then we're gonna have the second half of the liquidy base be lemon juice that explains why I have a lemon because this is the main ingredient for the sun bleaching. Even my mom had just told me like you can literally just mix like water and lemon juice and that's a perfect sun bleaching mix. So 
I'm gonna have this with the water and then we're also gonna put these sea salt flakes in there you can use plain regular sea salt like the coarse or the fine but sea salt and lemon juice are pretty drying for your hair. So to come up with a solution for that, I decided to also use my argan oil slash, you can use whatever hair oil you have, and I'm gonna be putting a little bit of that, mixing it into the spray, just to add a little bit of hydration into it. I love using this wave spray, I barely have any left, but I have this travel one that's also almost empty. I'm gonna empty this out into this, and then I'm gonna make my product in this bottle. So we're gonna make it in here, I'm gonna rinse this bottle out, and I'm gonna fill it up like, <laughs> I don't know. I love that I don't measure anything. I'm gonna fill it up half. I'm gonna fill it up somewhere between half and three fourths with the water. So I filled it up to like there. I'm gonna go cut this lemon in half and I'm gonna squeeze it all into this bottle. Hopefully that'll bring it up almost all the way. I'm gonna take a little spoon. I'm just gonna shovel some of this in there. I'm thinking I'm maybe gonna do like three of these spoonfuls. I am just putting that in there. There's salt all over the floor. I'm gonna add a little bit of the hair oil into there. And then I'm gonna shake this up. Can you hear it? All the salt in there? Okay, it, <laughs> it smells like the beach, dude. It smells like ocean water. Okay, I'm excited to try this. Once I rinse out my hair mask, I'm going to spray some of this in my hair and scrunch it so it can dry. All right, okay, I'm back. That was crazy. I forgot I was wearing makeup before I hopped in the shower, so I just had to go upstairs and fix that. So, okay, so now that my hair is all wet and washed out, my hair actually does feel really soft. So I'm gonna spray some of the wave spray in it and we're going to scrunch it in here. I'm just gonna kind of spray it all throughout. And then scrunch my hair. There we go. So now moving on to the next DIY while my hair sort of air dries, I'm going to be making a hair perfume. And this hair perfume is inspired also by the brand of Jizu. And this is their honey infused hair perfume. I just recently got this and I've been loving it. So I wanted to make my own hair perfume, but I'm not doing it completely inspired by this because I'm not doing a honey scent. I thought I would make it more Kelsey Simone and do a rose coconut, I know, right? Rose coconut hair perfume. I mean, if you just think, if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know, just think about rose and coconut and just bring those two together and it's me. I have two things here. Well, I have three ingredients in whole, but for the base, I'm gonna mix half parts. I'm gonna do rose water and coconut water. Now, rose water, I wanted to talk about this. Rose water is so good. Just like a quick tip for you guys. If you like rose anything, or even if you've never tried something rose flavored, you should try this. Um, I'm gonna make a fan page for this. I love it so much. <laughs> if you've ever, if you like chai, like chai tea, chai lattes, put rose water in it. You will thank me later. It's the most magical thing you'll ever drink. It's great. So I'm gonna mix half parts this, half part the coconut water, and I thought that that would be, rose water is still pretty strongly scented, but I wanted it to be a little bit more intense. So I decided to get a rose essential oil. You can use whatever essential oil if you want the coconut scent to be stronger get that because they do have coconut essential oils. I wanted to do rose, but you can honestly just do whatever scents you like. What I have for a bottle, you can just get any spray bottle. I know at the dollar store, they even have those like travel size plastic spray bottles, um, but I forgot to pick up some. So I actually had this perfume. So I barely had any left. I like that much left. So I just dumped it out into another container so that I can use this for my hair perfume. So I washed it out, rinsed it out, and I'm going to probably need a little funnel for this. So I don't have a funnel. <laughs> I decided to use this cake tip frosting thing. <laughs> I'm really bad at opening things. Ooh, I've actually never. I thought that was gonna taste good. It smells really good though, like it smells like coconut water. I expected it to taste sweeter though. There we go. I filled it up actually a little bit more halfway. Now I'm going to take my rose essential oils. I'm going to add some of that in there. Um, I'm probably going to do, I think I did like 10 drops. I did a lot. Here we go. I'm ready to smell it. <laughs> okay. Wait, do I just spray it on my hair? I'm like nervous. <laughs> okay. Do I just spray it on my hair? Should I, let me spray it on my hand first. Let's Oh my gosh, it's 
smells so good. I am so proud of myself today. This that mom mom I made hair perfume and it smells good Yay! <laughs> smell come smell it I'm definitely spraying too much but it oh it smells so good ooh doesn't that smell good what'd you put in there coconut water rose water and the rose essential oils wow oh my gosh I'm so proud of myself. We have done so good today. This is so great. I'm gonna start getting cute little bottles and like gifting these to my friends. I'm so ready to start doing that. But yeah, those are all of the hair DIYs that I have for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like doing DIY videos because I think that they're super fun. If you want me to do more of them, give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoy them. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week, one on Tuesdays and then one on Fridays. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.